Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell, I literally just woke up. Um, as you can tell from the title of this video, it's going to be another day in the life of a stripper vlog. I just want to say something really quick before I get started into the video. So this video is going to be exactly like the last one I did. It's going to be my whole day in the life um, from the, obviously the moment I wake up to the moment I get back home counting my money and showing you guys how much money I made. So it's going to be like a whole day vlog. And then I'm going to do another vlog tomorrow and it's going to be just a nighttime stripper vlog. So it's going to be solely only based on the strip club. So I like doing that because this kind of shows you my whole daily routine since like we have weird schedules when we work at night. It shows you kind of how your life schedule can be if you work in this industry. And then tomorrow's vlog is going to be just at night, me getting ready for work, going to work. And then every hour or two, I'm going to come back into the dressing room and show you guys how much money I made so far. Talk to you about the club, maybe show you around the dressing room and things like that. So they're going to be a little bit different. So definitely look forward to that. I'm going to be filming that one tomorrow. Two different types of vlogs and they both show you like the industry. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But without further ado, let's get started into the vlog. Anyways, basically right now I'm just going to get up, wash my face, brush my teeth, eat some breakfast. And then I have to like clean my room and do some laundry because my room is a mess right now. Um, I just want to let you guys know I am moving out. I'm getting my very own apartment. So right now my room is such a mess. I have like bags everywhere and stuff everywhere. I'll show you guys. I'll flip the camera. And show so you. basically I just have like all my like, I just got a new comforter. I have some like TJ Maxx bags like in the corner, some Marshalls bags in my closet. And just like my room is such a mess because I've just been like in the transition stage and like buying stuff and throwing it everywhere. So yeah, I need to like organize that and shit. But let's get up and start the day. Okay, now that I finished brushing my teeth and washing my face, I'm gonna go do a load of laundry and clean my room. So let's go. Oh, really quick, I forgot to tell you guys. After I wash my face, I apply this moisturizer. It's dermatologist recommended. My dermatologist put me on it. It's the exact same brand as the face wash I just used, and it's super good if you're on Accutane or if you have dry skin. I just finished cleaning my room. It still looks a little weird to me just because it's more empty because I'm in like the transition stage of moving. But basically all the stuff that I've bought in so far is just right here in my little closet. But it's as good as it's gonna be for now. All right, y'all, so now that I finished cleaning, I'm just gonna eat some breakfast right now. Spooner! My cat just fell off crazy. <laughs> this is what I'm having for breakfast, just oatmeal and strawberries. Some orange juice. And then I have to take my Accutane and my birth control. Look at my cat. She just fell all stupid. Yeah, I got you. She's embarrassed, guys. I'm going to just eat my little breakfast and watch my program. And then when I'm done eating, I will get back to you guys. Because I have to get ready for my day. My clothes just got out the washer. So I'm about to fold all my clothes and then get ready for my dermatologist appointment. Because I literally have to leave in like 20 minutes for my appointment. So I will see you guys when I'm headed out the door. I'm going to show you guys my outfit of the day. So I just have my hair in a little bun. I'm wearing this black shirt that I got from African Mall. It's like a little crop top. Super cute. And then I'm wearing these like tan, nude, whatever, biker shorts from Forever 21. Really, really cute. And then I have my little Gucci purse, you know. And then I'm wearing these like nude Chanel boots because they match. The biker shorts, you can't really see, but they match the biker shorts. So I'm actually on my way to the dermatologist right now. I got no makeup on, you guys. This is the best my skin has ever been, literally in my entire life. I'm so happy about it. Um, I'm going to get a pregnancy test done right now because I have to get that done once a month in order to pick up my pills. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I have to come home really quick and change my outfit because, y'all, it's fall. It's not summer no more. So I just changed, I still have the same shirt on. I just put leggings on and my little Gucci boots. So, 
super cute. I am currently driving to Walgreens because I have to pick up my Accutane prescription. And a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a video on my Accutane journey, but I still have two more months left on Accutane. So I wanna wait until I'm completely off the pills to do the video, you know, so you guys can see the final results. Also, you guys, these sunglasses are so freaking cute. And I got them from Fashion Nova. And they were, like, really cheap. And I feel like they make me look like I'm cool or something. And then this furry jean jacket is really, really good for, like, the fall time, you know. Because it's, like, still warm. But it's, like, a jean jacket. So it's not, like, crazy warm, you know. But it's really, really soft on the inside. The whole inside has fur on it. And I got this jacket on Instagram. My sister actually sent me the link because she liked it. And I ended up buying it. Um, but yeah, so I will leave the link down to this coat below, I guess, if you guys want to check it out. They also have one with pink fur, too. So it's like a really cute vibe or whatever. But yeah, basically, I'm just going to go right now, pick up my pills. And then my appointment for my Botox and my um, lip clip or whatever isn't until 4 and it's 3 right now. So I have some time to kill, so I'm probably going to go to the mall for a little bit and just look around for furniture for the apartment. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to the mall, I guess. I didn't have enough time to go to the mall before my appointment because my appointment's literally in 20 minutes and I'm really close to the appointment. So I just have like 20 minutes to kill basically. So I'm going to go through the McDonald's drive through and get some food. So I got enough time to eat some McDonald's, but not enough time to drive all the way to the mall, you know? Cause by the time I get to the mall and then look around, it's literally gonna be the moment I get out the car, I'm gonna have to turn around and go to my appointment. So, McDonald's is a better idea. How can I help you? Um, can I have the number six meal? Are you here? Two nuggets? Yeah. Thank you. I have like 10 minutes to eat my food and then I have to go to my appointment. But I got a sweet tea. You guys, I don't have my metal straw. I got french fries. Fire. And I got 10 piece nuggets. barbecue sauce i usually get pure honey for my nuggets and my fries but i'm trying to be different today i feel like everyone gets barbecue sauce okay so after i'm done with my food i'm gonna go get my botox my fillers I'm gonna lip flip all that. And then I'm gonna go home. I'm probably gonna like edit some videos. And then like take a nap or something before work. I hope work's good tomorrow. So I'm gonna do another vlog like I said for you guys tomorrow. But the vlog I do tomorrow isn't gonna be like my entire day. It's just gonna be only a nighttime vlog. And someone t gave me the idea of going to the back room and like updating you guys every couple hours or every hour or so about like how much I made and how it's going. Since I'm not actually allowed to like bring my phone out onto the floor, you know, it's like a way to like kind of give you guys more showing it. I don't know, trying to get you guys more information or whatever you guys i can't believe i'm moving out i'm getting my own apartment like who do i think i am i'm scared so if any of you guys are like around my age or like in your 20s you know and you live on your own give me some advice some tips you know things i'm not thinking of things to keep in mind but i really want to get a cat because I love cats and my parents won't let me take the ones at my house technically those cats one of them belongs to my sister 
The one belongs to my brother. So. I'm gonna have to get my own. It's about to be four o'clock. My appointment's at 415. I used to work at a McDonald's that was super close to here, but it closed down. It was big too, it was two floors. Oh my God, you guys, I'm about to get a lip flip. I've never gotten a lip flip before. It's based, I'm actually super, super scared to get my lips done. Because my lips, you guys know how I got my lips dissolved if you haven't seen my video on me getting them dissolved. But like, my lips were low-key really busted, like, and I had to get them dissolved. If you watch like my first sculpture video where I'm wearing the pink lipstick, girl, my lips are not cute. They were so big and disgusting. So I'm really scared for them to look like that again. That's why this time... I got all my filler dissolved, and this is like my lips with all the stuff dissolved or whatever. So I'm getting it again for my first time in like a really long time. I'm really nervous about it. But it should be fine. I actually don't even think I want to get a syringe. I think I just want to get the lip flip. I'm too scared to get a syringe. For some reason, I feel like Big lips just don't look that good on me. As I go to get my lips done. <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm so full. Okay. I have one nugget left. I'm trying to eat fast because I have to go soon. That was the last nugget. I'm gonna go now to my appointment. Go fix my face. So I'll see you guys there. Right, you guys. I just got here. Espala. My favorite place. Let's go get this face filled with some liquids. <laughs> Looks like my own. And I just want you guys to know getting Botox literally does not hurt at all. So this is not sharp, it's not going to hurt. Okay. 
So do you see how it's right there? Yeah. I'm just gonna put a little bit of filler there. Okay. Okay, it wasn't that bad. So now this is gonna keep getting better and better and better. It's better. See? Like you can tell that this one looks like. Yeah, catch up. So it takes you know, a couple days. Yep. So I'm gonna do that real quick right now. Okay. So do you see how far down this comes and how you're depleted and how this is picking up already? Yeah. Oh my god, it looks so good. Okay. See? Same thing. I'm gonna make a little hole and then do that. Ready? Oh my god, this eye already looks so good. Remember I told you that this is going to look better than this side. Because you did this, this first. first. So tomorrow oh morning, god. you're going to think that I put too much because it's going to be swollen under here. You got to give it a minute. Okay, she just finished my bottom lip. She only put a very tiny bit and it already looks really good. And then she did the lip flip, so that's going to take like three days. And then my lip's going to go up like this. So I didn't add any filler to my top lip at all because we did the flip. So it'll be like that. And then I'll look super cute. So... Really good. I'll look not so busted later, guys. Just trust me. Okay, you guys. So just a little recap. I did get um, a little filler on my bottom lip only. And then I got um, a lip flip on the top lip, which is going to, like, flip my lip over like this. Whatever. Not like that. But, you know, it's going to make my lip go up a little bit. But I won't see those results for, like, three days. And then I got Botox on my forehead. So when I go like that, I won't have wrinkles. And when I go like that, I won't have wrinkles. But it takes like three days to kick in. And then I also got filler underneath my eyes. I feel like my under eyes look more awake and a lot better. And my lips are not overdone. She only did a little bit on the bottom. I know people are probably going to be like, girl, your bottom lip is so big and your top lip is so tiny. Well, this time I'm not going to let it get to me. And also, I got a lip flip. It's just going to take a couple days to see the results. So I'm really happy with everything she did. I think my face looks super good and i'm really excited so i just have this little ice and i am icing my lip i love Rhonda so much that's my girl that's my injector oh so yeah now i'm just gonna go home and it's raining guys but i'm gonna go home and edit a youtube video and just like chill before work so let's go y'all Okay, you guys, so I literally just got back to my house. I'm going to probably shower and then take a nap. And then when I wake up, I'll start getting ready for work. So when I start to get ready, I will vlog again. Sorry I didn't record the process of me getting ready. And if my lip is starting to bruise, it's because obviously I just got them injected. So, you know, they're bruising a little bit. But basically, I just did my makeup and my hair and got, like, my bag and stuff ready for work. So I'm headed to work right now. It is 1030 at night. I'm probably going to stop and get like an energy drink or something really quick at 7-Eleven. And I never, ever, ever drink energy drinks, but I'm just really, really tired right now. So I'll film for you guys once I get to work and then like show you guys how much money I made and stuff like that. Hopefully I make a lot of money because your girl got to furnish a whole apartment. So fingers crossed, but I'm leaving now. So let's go. I am now driving home from work. So the night actually turned out to be pretty good. Um, I'm gonna give you a little recap. The first hour, so it was kind of dead actually when I got there, it was like not a lot of people there and like a, a lot wasn't really going on. So the first full hour of me being there, I made zero dollars, I made nothing. I talked to like almost everyone in the club because there wasn't a lot of people there. I made zero dollars and zero cents, okay you guys? And then the second hour I made $200 and then after that, I got lucky and I got a room. Well, I didn't get lucky, I worked for it, but you know. Then I got a room and it was an hour champagne room. And those ones are a thousand an hour, but we get several hundred of it. And then I ended up doing another room um, for half an hour. So overall it was good. I ended up doing like a couple dances and then I got two champagne rooms. So it turned out to be a good night. I'm not sure exactly how much I made yet because I haven't counted all my money because I had to pay everything out, you know. But yeah, it turned out to be a pretty decent night despite the fact that it was 
pretty dead in the club and yeah so i will tell you guys how much money i made and count it all for you when i get to my house but yeah i'm glad i came because i was super tired and i was actually thinking about not going but then i was like wait a minute i have to vlog it for them so i have to go and i'm sorry that it's getting like light and dark i'm driving so sometimes it's light and sometimes it gets a little dark but yeah i'll finish counting the money and telling you guys how much i made once i get to my house so from work and my cat is really loving me right now i put my sweater right here because he was making furry biscuits on my legs and it hurt so bad so i put the sweater on so he can do the furry biscuits on the sweater now my other cat's trying to get in okay she's gonna have to wait but i'm just trying to embrace this moment of my cat loving me because if you have a cat you know sometimes they really fuck with you and sometimes they really don't so right now he really likes me so i'm just gonna enjoy this moment and when he's done loving me then i will count my money so I'll get back to you guys when my cat is done being in love with me. I'm actually just going to count my money right here with my cat because he does not want to get up. Mother money. Is it good, Franklin? Good? Okay. I'm going to count my money now, okay? This is my Franklin's butt. My kitty Franklin and my kitty scooters over there, okay? So now I'm going to count my money. Five singles, three five dollar bills, a ten dollar bill, ten twenties, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine hundred. A thousand. Okay, so I made $1,130, and it was all thanks to the fact that one of my regulars ended up coming and doing a room with me. I ended up getting two rooms. One of them was, was with a person that I didn't know and I just met, and then the first room was with one of my regulars that just so happened to come in, so I got lucky. But yeah, overall, it was a very good night because, you know, I made a good amount of money, and I can go buy some good furniture for my room. But, yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, I'm just going to put my money in here. Because I have to go to the bank tomorrow and put it in the bank. So, that's pretty much it for the video. Maybe I can gather up the cats so we can all say bye. One second. Okay, so my girl cat is currently hiding under the bed. So, me and Franklin are just going to do the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube channel. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please, Franklin, take it away. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.